I'm so excited. For real though, my winged liner could probably cut a bitch right now. Like, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is VIB Rouge sale haul thing. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be able to get 20% off of products of brands that don't generally have sales like ever. So I'm a VIB Rouge member and I saw that it's 20% off of everything and so I was like, okay, let's get everything that I've ever wanted from Sephora ever now. So I think that's kind of how it goes with all you VIB Rouge people over there, over through the, through the camera on the other side of the thing. I have to apologize. I kind of got really excited and looked through about half of this stuff and I threw the packages away because I was stupid and didn't think it through. I don't know. But I just like got so excited about all this stuff that I was just like, who cares? Package gone. Let's start off with skincare, shall we? The first one I got is the Derma Clear Micro Water. I have the simple microcellar water, but it, I mean, I have nothing to compare it to. It's okay. But when I used this guy yesterday, I used it to wipe my eye makeup off. But I thought it was really good. It didn't burn my eyes or anything. And I find it most useful when you, um, when after you use your like my Neutrogena wipe or something to like take off my regular makeup, I just run this guy in a cotton pad and run it all over my face and it's still like, I can see some residue from my makeup that's left over and so I think this is really great. Along with the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Water, I picked up um, Shiseido, I hope I'm saying that right, Shiseido Facial Cotton Cottons. It says, delivers moisture with a luxuriously gentle touch. Um, hell yeah. These things are like putting pillows, like fluffy, like soft, softness on your face and they're like normal um, drugstore cotton rounds but they are so soft. Actually I thought like online it was um, a giant like cotton round thing that you could like reuse but there's about like 65 I think in here. The next guy I got is, no I'm gonna save this for last. Where do I go? I don't even know what to do with myself. It's so exciting. The third thing I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Indian Brown. I just ran out of my other one like a while ago and you know, I just kind of maybe have been ignoring my brows. Yeah. They're back on fleek because I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Next one I got was the Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird, and I was really butthurt about this. I received this shattered, and I was really upset, so I went to the Sephora, and I just exchanged it for one that was not shattered. That is the blush right there, on my hand right there. It is a little bit more orangey, so I think it would look really good on like tan folks, but I'm wearing it today, and I think it, I think it looks good on fair people too. The next item I got was the Becca glow on the go kit thing. So in this package you get two little mini Becca items and these are in opal. Nextly I got a Tarte, the Tarte Bling It On palette. I tried Prim the other day and it was very pretty. Just neutral. I hear really good things about the Amazonian clay blushes and I don't have one of those yet from Tarte so I thought this was a great alternative to buying one and I could just get a couple different colors. Okay, we're moving our way through. These are the Metal Crush eyeshadows in Synergy and Doce. I need to, right after this, I'm gonna go run to Sephora and say, hey, UPS sucks, so can I have new ones, please, that are not broken? Shh, I didn't take it out of the package yet. Next, I bought the Makeup Forever 15 Artist Eyeshadow Palette. I have the neutral one that has like, I don't know, eight or so colors in it, but this is like twice that almost. So this is what the front looks like, and I just, I think it's so cool. Like, it's just very like orangey, like Halloween-y. Get made of made fun of for saying that word. This one, this one, this one, and this one are what sold me on the palette. I was like, oh my god, yes, please. And these are actually really pigmented. I think these are just like they're like, look, oh 
Oh my goodness! Like, can I just put it on my oh on my eye? Like, I promise I didn't flip you guys off. But it's just so pretty, and I think there's awesome neutral colors, like kind of around, and then there's like hints, there's pops of color in the middle. But oh my gosh, look at the pigment with those eyeshadows. Sorry I'm shaking, I had way too much coffee this morning. Next, I got the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 15L or I or I don't know. I've wanted one of these bronzers for a long time. I just, I don't know, I just kept forgetting about them. Every time I would go into Sephora, I'd see something else. I'd be like, oh, pretty, let's buy that instead. When I feel it now, it is a little bit, I feel like drier, a little bit, no, not rougher, but just like a drier formula. Um, maybe because of the little indents that are in it, but that's that one right there. 15 L or I. I don't know what that is, but it's like the iridescent amber one. This is the Becca Black Oh, backlight priming fill. I was a little nervous because I am a little bit more oily that it was gonna make me look like BAM oil in your face, like all over my face and your face like what this primer looks like. But I'll rub it in and you can see that glow. It almost looks like you just I just highlighted my hand. Becca's on point with packaging. And look at it, it's like a little mini one. My roommate just got home. It'd be so awkward if she like came and saw me filming. And I'm just like, hi. The last three things I'm the most excited about, I'll start with this. This is the NARS Stephen Klein, like, Palette. One shocking moment cheek studio palette. This guy is like hardcore heavy like you can tell this was really nicely made This is what the top looks like and on the back you can kind of see what each of the colors in there are This is like a bronzer. This is contour this is highlight and then there's four blushes in it this is one of the higher end things that I purchased and I'm so happy I did because every time I go in, it's like sold out in stores. So I was super happy I grabbed it online. Last two things, sorry, this is so freaking long. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. I saw Kathleen Lights talking about this. It's so soft and like buttery feeling and it's it's got like a little bit of like, it's not sparkles, but it's more like a shimmer, like a sheen. Just for lighter skin tones they do have another one for I think darker skin tones but I think this is so beautiful last one this is probably the one that I'm most excited about because I've heard this is like new to Sephora I think the it's the Caudalie Paris line and it's the reverse I'm, I'm gonna butcher this the reverse that sounds wrong. Um, firming serum. This serum oil thing, it's more like you're putting like milk on your face a little bit. I've read so many awesome reviews on this online and I think it's new to Sephora, like not the not the lot not the brand, but just this in general. Although it is a little bit more of an expensive serum, it says that it's that's not in English. Apply morning and evening to face. Oh no, that's not what it says. I don't know what it's supposed to do. So it says it is a re-sculpting treatment serum to reshape, define, and lift the look of skin for a youthful appearance. To visibly recontour, refirm, and repulp aging skin. You can tell I, I really have some aging skin here. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys got at your on your VIB Rouge sale experience. And maybe it's something that I haven't tried. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at that hair. It's doing its own thing.